Hong Kong fights back. You know, the West just published a, a mother load of harshly negative comments on our recent election. So I'm going to reply first with a comment on the upcoming US election. Western politicians and journalists, do you realize you're promoting a system uh, that literally places the future safety of our world in the hands of one or other of these two men? You need to know uh, what the world is thinking, and it's this. Are you f***ing insane? I mean, seriously, are you completely f***ing raving mad? Second point, many of your newspapers this week complained that Hong Kong had a Patriots-only election. But what does that mean in practice? Candidates for political power have to pledge to uphold the community's constitutional law, just like in every other society on Earth. So basically, everybody in the world has a Patriots-only election, right? I mean, think about it. Third, your reporters criticise us for moving to a system which is a mixture of elected people and appointed people. This is literally the British system for colonial destinations. The British started this system in 1888 with lots of officials and just two representatives of the community. That mixed system was the system in Hong Kong for the following 100 years. I mean, literally. Fourth, you said that the 27% turnout was a record low. I mean, rubbish. You forgot to look back at the British era. Before the district council elections were so named, our local representation system was called the Urban Council election. In the 60s and 70s, the average turnout was 20-something percent. In 1977, it was 19%. And that's not the lowest. At the 1894 British Hong Kong public election, there were the same number of candidates as seats. So no electors turned out. They didn't have to. Fifth, there certainly has been disillusionment with the liberal democratic process in Hong Kong, as there is worldwide. Now, only 13% of humanity lives in liberal democracies. This doesn't surprise me, given the leaders it produces, like this man, and this woman, and this man, and so on. For all the bad things you can say about Asian leaders, I mean, we've had some good ones. The last point I want to make is this. People who promote a system that pretends these are the smartest people in the world have no business criticizing other countries' political choices. Full stop. Peace. <laughs>